글자에 네가 보고 싶어 나의 속마음을 담아 oh. 이모티콘 하나하나 속에 달라지는 내 미묘한 심리를 알까 to Marina Bay Sands now. Also, good morning. Um, welcome to the second part of the Singapore vlog. I forgot to intro this. Okay. We're in the flower dome now. I feel like my hair matches the color of the flowers. It's really beautiful, as you can see. What is? Yeah, those are nice. These ones. Okay, my lovely viewers, welcome to Voice Over Time and the sound of my voice. So after Mina Bay, we went to go get some lunch, then we went to the Art Science Museum, and we went to go watch this exhibition that was basically like digital displays of nature. Some of the exhibitions were really pertinent. They talked about our changing world and our changing environment, which you can see on the screen now. And a lot of it was super interactive. Not all of it I understood, which I'll show you now. Yeah, we still could not figure out what we were doing, but who actually knows what they're doing in life anyways? So let's move on. This part of the exhibition is hands down my absolute favorite, favorite like activity, museum, element I've ever done in my entire life. I'd highly, highly recommend this. Essentially the premise is there's these little stencils that you have to sort of color in and draw pictures of. <laughs> so as you can see we finished our drawings there they vary by level but let's not talk about that there's us showing them off very very proudly <laughs> I think this exhibition is actually catered towards kids, but I would highly, highly recommend this if you're with your family or friends. There were loads of adults doing this. It was so, so much fun and it was a really nice bonding activity, not just with my mum, but like with other adults who were there. And it's one of the best uses of technology I've seen in a really, really long time in any museum that I've ever been to. Oh, well, are we designing what they're doing? She got mad that other people don't know how to play it properly. <laughs> so she was like, I'm gonna go play it now. And then this is probably the part of the exhibition that you've probably heard of the most, which is this beautiful, beautiful display of lights that was so cool. Wow. I also managed to get this Instagram. I don't know, maybe, maybe give me a little follow while you're at it. Wow, that was such a good exhibition. I'm so impressed. That was so good. Out of ten, how good do you think it is? That exhibition one. Eight. Eight. That's that's like a ten for most people. What? <laughs> After that, we just slowly made our way around the marina and we went all the way to one of my favorite places in the entire world. We went to the Line Friends store, which is, again, overpriced, but I love. You know, this is BTS playing now. Oh my god. 
I didn't really get anything at the store, so we decided to head to dinner. Again, this is one of my favorite places, Genki Sushi. I, when I'm in Hong Kong, I go to this place like at least once every single week. I was so happy that they had one in Singapore. I Can you hear it in my voice how excited I am? Like even looking at this, look at that. It looks so good. I was so happy this evening. Anyway, let's move on. Good morning. Um, I have to film this really quickly because we are about to go out. We're gonna go get some shoes for my grandparents and also for me if I see anything. Oh, I wanted to show you my socks. Look at these. I literally have my foot like on the table. I'm doing my hair in curls now because I think it helps make the color look a little bit less like weird. How to make it like not blend, but just look a little bit less like, I don't know how to explain that. Anyway, let's go. Morning. We are starting off today just a little bit slowly. We're taking the bus all the way down to Chinatown Just looking at the wonderful sights that Singapore has to offer. It's such a pretty city And then we went to the Hawker Center in Chinatown for lunch So of course I had to eat at Hawker Chan They are famous for their chicken rice and chicken rice of course is one of Singapore's most famous dishes So, you know, I had to come back and eat that After lunch, I was incredibly, incredibly happy and I was like, I'm gonna come back here in a couple days and lo and behold, I did. Anyway, so for this day, we just explored the shops, the little like stalls that sell some cute little clothing items and we just took it all in. Something you have to do if you ever go to Chinatown in Singapore is make your way up the stairs and cross the bridge over to the other side. There's more food stalls. There's even like a foreign exchange bureau there. There's lots of clothing. I did so much shopping in this area and they have some really, really great pieces. After Chinatown, we again made our way over to <laughs> to do some more shopping, basically. We went to do some like really late night shopping here. I think this was about like 6, 7 p.m. by this time. Um, and yeah, we basically shopped for most of the day, but that was something I was like super excited to do when I came back to Singapore is shop. I've been saving all of my money so that I can shop in Singapore. Anyway, then we went to this Thai restaurant that had the most amazing sticky mango rice I've ever had in my entire life. I know I say hyperboles like this a lot, but honestly, I, oh God, it was incredible. Um, why did I get nervous? Good morning. I am going out for lunch with my Kupal, who's like my grandpa's sister. So we're going out for lunch and then we're going to just explore the shopping mall that we eat at. Food courts tend to be like everywhere in shopping centers. So I feel like every time I've met up with someone, it's always, almost always been in a shopping mall just because that's where like the food courts are. That's where all the restaurants are. Um, so if you're wondering, that's why. Let me show you my outfit for today, because I think it's cute. You might not think so. I've got this little, like, fake Moschino t-shirt. It's got, like, a 3D 
felt print on it, which I'm enjoying. And then I've got, how am I going to do this? I've got this little like rah-rah skirt on. It's really good weather in Singapore right now. It's not too hot. We've been having a little bit of rain, hence why it's not too hot. And I've been enjoying myself. Anyway, that's today's outfit. I also just wanted to show you these little like Tata stickers that I bought from the BT21 store. Look, we've got Tata like sleeping and then eating and watching like his little computer. Me and Tata just do exactly the same things. We are soulmates, we're meant to be. I'm just repacking my bag for the purse that I'm gonna take today. This is everything I'm taking in my purse. Thought it'd be marginally interesting if you were interested. Hi, this is today's outfit. Good morning, also, sorry. This little dungaree set that I bought the other day. We're going to um, a market in Chinatown. We're gonna go look at some fruits and then we're gonna go eat some food. I'm probably gonna go back and eat some chicken rice because it was so good the other day. Is this dirty? There you are. I'm gonna go eat some food as I always do. And then I think we're gonna go to Haji Lane, but I'm not sure yet. I'll keep you posted. It's now like, what time is it? I think it's like 10. That's a lie. It's like 12 and we're gonna go out now. Let's just go. I'll see you in the next clip. you I was gonna come back to Chinatown didn't I and also apparently I'm gonna come back with a voice over so we went to the Chinese supermarket after just looking at some of the products just sort of taking it all in and then we had my long-awaited favorite I had ice kacang with my grandparents and my mom it's one of my absolute favorite desserts haven't had it in years so I think since the last time I came back to Singapore and then we just explored, we went to Haji Lane. It was almost slightly overwhelming for me. I think after COVID, I don't do so well with crowded places. Then I had told my grandparents about the Thai restaurant and about the sticky mango rice pudding. And we were like, we have to bring them there. And I ate it again. It was wonderful. really enjoying looking at all of the like different products that we have and then just seeing like what we can't get here or what we can't get there sorry if that makes me sound like i'm like 50 years old my mom says i live like a grandpa here and like it's not exactly a lie like my grandpa has more friends than i do he gets more messages than i do in a day it's kind of sad for me but like it's fine I look shiny. I've already been out for a couple hours. I went to church this morning with my grandparents and then we went for dim sum with my cool paw and 
why sorry my makeup's coming off because like the sun is out it's a beautiful day today we are going to i look so shiny <laughs> we're going to go to navina and just explore around the general area um and then probably like we're gonna go to a hawker center for dinner it's my last day in singapore so i think we're just gonna try and take in everything i'm saying this like i'm never gonna return like my family's here so i'm obviously gonna come back sort of like a very quick bittersweet trip it's been a nice trip it feels like two weeks hasn't gone by which i think is a good sign um i think it's a sign that i've had <laughs> i've had fun if smiling wasn't enough evidence that i've had fun anyway i'll speak to you soon see you in the next clip <laughs> We're in Novena now. We're just sort of taking everything in. There's a lot of construction um, and the sun is blazing down, but it's nice. I'm enjoying the walk. It's very rare that I get to like walk like this. but worse for wear today i don't look i don't look so hot it's my last day in singapore today i am starting off the day well i start off the day by packing everything and now i'm going to go out to like a little food court with my grandpa we're gonna get some food for the rest of my family and then we're probably gonna eat and then i think we need to head to the airport like sometime after lunch every time there's a big change that happens like every time I'm about to move somewhere else or every time like I'm about to like you know graduate or finish an exam or something I always get really like overwhelmed with the future um, and I feel like that's sort of affecting my mood today and I don't really want it to I just feel like I want to check in with that So we're just gonna sit here and chill. I thought I would just end the vlog here. I would say thank you so much for watching this video if you made it to the end. Um, let me know if you have any like thoughts or comments that you want to say. I've enjoyed my time in Singapore. I'm really sad to be leaving my grandparents. But I feel like I'll be back soon. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.